Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as France. In our last episode, we launched our new offensive into Italy, which seems to have gone much better than the last time. I wasn't planning on doing it quite so early, but we had some slight weirdness with some divisions that I was trying to send over to the Asian theater, who uh, insisted upon going by a weird route, so I thought, hey, maybe not. We'll just, uh, you know, go with that and uh, launch the offensive. In fact, they still have these orders to go over here, which they apparently cannot be dissuaded from doing. So we'll just have to deal with that if necessary. I guess we can just disband these divisions, which uh, should get rid of it. Um, but yes, we still have this uh, second stage of this offensive, which we're going to push down towards Rome. We also have the naval inv invasion that's still preparing. We're at 72 of 101 days on that, so we'll be able to do that pretty soon, which should be good. I'm also sort of uh, redistributing my troops here. I have another army down that's going to take over this uh, northern front, and we're going to be able to redeploy the whole purple army to the south. Uh, speaking of Southeast Asia, though, we also have our army on the way over there that we're going to be using to hopefully take care of this Japanese naval invasion and any other future naval invasions. So let's unpause and let things happen. We're still having naval combat, uh, which is fine. It seems to be going in our favor, as usual. We have a few more divisions here. I guess we shouldn't be producing new uh, motorized divisions. Actually, since we are planning to switch over to mechanized, so uh, I'll cancel these, especially since we just got two done. And we'll add some mechanized instead. I just had two there and set them down here. So we don't have the equipment yet because our lines are still ramping up, but that's fine. So any new units we build will be mechanized. So yes, apparently this division is still trying to single-handedly walk through Italian-occupied Venice to get to where it's going. Uh, let's see. I don't want to just have to disband divisions, but it seems like this might be necessary. Unassign this from the army. How about you retreat back here? Can I please just tell you to go there and you'll forget your quest to walk across Italy? No, he's still doing it. Uh, we do get the equipment back and we get the manpower back, so I guess this isn't the worst thing to happen. So we'll disband you. There were two more affected infantry divisions and I think one tank division. So if I can find them here. Was it you as well? No. Anyway. As and when I notice them, I guess I'll... Uh-oh. Something weird happened with our fronts here. We definitely want... Uh, let's see, at least this one to go over here. Let's make sure that we just put both of them along there. Make sure we don't lose any territory for no reason here. Okay, so our blue army is pretty much in position, I think. We're close enough. So our purple army, let's see, I don't want to... Let's see, can I just delete this northern one and keep this southern one? I can, apparently, so that's good. I don't want to delete all of their orders because we have this uh, offensive planning. 
So some of our purple army is now not assigned to anything. Should be able to assign them all to here. Okay. That all seems to be going just fine. Has our other army arrived over here yet? No, we're still a pretty good distance away. Okay. Um, I hope we're not going to have a problem with actually getting them over here. We obviously don't have naval superiority. I think they're going to be okay, though. So I think this is going to look pretty good once everyone's in position, and a lot of you will have... Very high uh, planning bonuses as well, which is good. I think we'll probably go ahead and launch this as soon as the naval invasion is ready. It's going to be a little while longer. Alright, so I'm not planning to... Oh, Amsterdam has fallen to the Germans. Uh, this is potentially bad for us because they could then push southwards into Belgium and come at us from that direction. And now I've just moved my army that I was previously using to defend the Belgian border down to Italy. Well, I guess we have this new army here, which we haven't actually assigned to an army yet. We can potentially use them if it comes to that. I was going to say we should probably uh, draw an offensive line or two so that some people can get some planning bonuses here. Even if we're not actually planning to launch any offensives yet. So let's see, maybe just down here we'll try to push in between these two rivers. Take Nuremberg? Sure. want this as well. Alright, are you guys over here yet? Nope. So we could be trying to take these other uh, provinces outside of the ports, but then we're just sort of concentrating more uh, legionnaire Bulgaria joined the Axis, okay. But then we're just concentrating more divisions in the port. In fact, if anything, we should probably be pulling back a bit. We don't want to get let them get up to the river as a sort of defensive border. I think we'll just stay where we are. We can definitely take six divisions in the city with the number of troops that we have on the way over, so... I don't think it's really an issue. Okay, port strike results. We are now fighting Bulgaria. Okay, uh, I don't think this really affects us directly. Sure, any borders or anything, and they're pretty far away from any land that we do control. All right, how's our production of mechanized equipment going? Still pretty low on the efficiency, but we're getting there, I guess. We 
have uh, better recon companies. I guess we should get some of the uh, other support battalions, uh, military police, for example. Giving a suppression bonus. Uh, we do still have resistance. Uh, it's not just in Alexandria, also in Luxembourg. Well, we do have a couple of cavalry divisions assigned to this. Uh, they're not actually assigned to Luxembourg, okay. Well, in that case, we'll just add you to their orders. Hopefully they can take care of that. Might need to add another cavalry division to that army. I think we probably have a few hanging around somewhere. Or maybe not. Let's see, we can find them this way. We sort by type and just find where they are. Quite a few in the African theater. Well, I guess we can just use some of our normal troops for this. In fact, maybe we should produce some specific um, military police divisions. Oh, there's one, actually. I guess I missed you. Oh, no, that was one of these, was it? No, it's over here. Okay. You can be assigned to that army instead. That should hopefully take care of Luxembourg, and we're also getting some resistance down here in Italy. Alright, well, when, once our um, research for military police is complete, we'll actually build some of those, I think. Should be able to take care of things. Our naval invasion is just about prepared. So I think we'll go ahead and launch it. We did actually lose one of these divisions, okay. Well, I'm not going to be too concerned about it. Okay begin the naval invasion. I'm gonna let this get underway and then order the offensive to start from the north too. All right, we can modify our government. I think we're doing okay on mobilization. Yeah, we're at the max level here, so that's fine. Um, let's see. Motorization research time. Or infantry equipment research design is probably better. Research time. Well. We're almost finished researching this anyway, so we're not going to get much bonus out of that, I guess. We should probably just get a military high command person. This applies to cav cavalry and motorized. I would assume that this would apply to mechanized as well, which we're in the process of upgrading to, but it doesn't actually say that, and I think it's different. Uh, let's get air superiority. It's always important. Alright, so for you guys... We're going to want to... Take Naples as quickly as possible. Did that not actually... Happen? Okay, we'll do that. So 
So assuming we manage to land effectively. Which I'm hoping will be the case. We should maybe be able to do this. making slow progress here, so we should make landfall at some point. I think we'll start our land offensive as well. Alright, we made it. We're very low on supplies. We need to take the ports, so I guess we'll just actually... Put our whole force here into trying to achieve that. Like we may not be able to. Ooh. Alright, so we might be in need of rescue from the north here. Improved screen ships. I think the only thing left here then is heavy fighter focus. Which I guess we'll get uh, for the want of anything else, but I don't really plan to be building many heavy fighters. Hmm, maybe we're doing okay here. We are stacking too many units though, apparently. Not sure what exact penalty this confers, but uh, I guess it's bad. We're making progress. It looks like we might take the port. Okay. So let's see. I think uh, what we'll maybe do is... Hmm. I was going to say maybe we should push through to the coast here and try to cut off some divisions here. But they'll have a port there anyway. Maybe we should just try and take Rome. Just these two provinces. It's not really what I had in mind there. Uh, Alright, never mind. I think we'll actually just push down this way and then we are going to have a shorter front to contend with. It's maybe a better idea, actually. It's beginning to look like we will actually take Naples, eventually. So this is already to our advantage. Just wait a little while to get some extra planning. Um, I haven't been paying any attention to the Asian theater, but our troops have made it over here. We'll send them down there and... Let's see, we'll have you guys... Just line up here. We'll push into the city with them. Everything is fine there and up here nothing too bad is happening. Okay.
I'm not sure what happened down here. I thought we were 99% towards victory pushing into Naples, but we apparently didn't make it. All right, in this case, I think we'll execute this offensive. The liberation of Warsaw, the devastated, please pause, the devastated city of Warsaw has fallen to advancing Soviet armies after the last German defenders retreated from its burning suburbs. Many, much of the city lies in ruins after the previous battles and local resistance members hurriedly emerged from the rubble to greet their liberators. Is this the beginning of the end? Uh, Berlin? Under the control of Denmark, actually, now. Okay. Uh, the UK have some territory in the middle here. They're still defending their borders with a reasonable number of troops here, so I don't think we should necessarily start advancing in there just yet. Alright, it looks like it's looking more like we are just going to have to continue advancing southwards and rescue our ill-fated naval invasion. What is your problem? Uh, supply problems, I see. Okay. Well, that's just fine. did manage to break through into Naples. Okay, so uh, we'll let you continue trying to push up to this offensive line, I guess. Or at the very least, uh, we'll be holding on to Naples, and now these guys have supply, which is good. It means we're not under any time pressure to push southwards. And what do we do with our new military factories? Uh, I guess we'll just assign some more to mechanized equipment and build more fighters. Okay, so I think we'll push up a bit further here and try to surround Rome a bit so we can attack in from more directions. We are low on oil again. Let's see how Italy is feeling about the war in general. 43% towards capitulation, so we're making progress, but still not really close to getting them to surrender. All right, we are in place over here. So we'll just have you take the city if possible. Let you get some planning bonus. Uh, it should be easy enough, though. It seems like it'll be pretty favorable once our units are in position. Victory in a naval battle, okay. I guess you actually aren't trying to execute this plan. That's fine, you can just hold position. Alright, we have infantry equipment 3. Uh, I guess we'll go for better support weapons. And I guess I'll immediately switch over my production. 
Um, let's see, we should maybe keep one or two, uh, at least one of our lines on infantry equipment too, so that we can reinforce effectively. How many do we have stockpiled? Oh, we have 90,000 weapons to stockpile, so that should be enough to cover us for reinforcements, I'm guessing. So we should be able to just switch over everything to weapons 3. We only lose 50% of the efficiency anyway, so I think we'll be fine. Naval invasion in southern India? Over here? I don't think I have any other land. That's not me, okay. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be too concerned about that if we're getting getting uh, navally invaded there. Alright, let's uh, see if we have a commander to assign. I guess we can probably just hire a new commander here. We'll go ahead and execute this. Then once we have the port taken, then this is basically over. Where am I going? Uh, yeah, I think we'll go ahead and do this now as well. Oh, I didn't really want to uh, attack Rome right now, but I guess we're doing it. We're winning, so that's good. And we're successfully holding Naples as well. The fall of Rome. Forces from France recently entered Rome after the city's remaining Italian garrison melted away into the surrounding countryside. With the fall of Rome, the ability of... Please pause when I'm reading these. Uh, with the fall of Rome, the ability of Italy to continue the war is put into question. Outside observers expect that the Italian government who fled the city just before its fall will soon begin surrender negotiations. Well, I'm not sure if that's necessarily the case. Uh, they're 70% towards com uh, capitulation. Controls 40% of victory points and will capitulate when it has 15% or less, so we're going to have to take that remaining 25% still. So I guess we'll just continue pushing southwards and occupying the rest of the Italian peninsula. We'll probably have to take Sicily maybe, or alternatively we could advance in this direction up to the German border here. But we should be able to force Fra or force uh, Italy out before too much longer, which will be nice, I think. And we're apparently not having a good time attacking into Saigon. We have too many divisions stacked up here, apparently. Um, okay, maybe we want to rethink this whole offensive and go about it a different way. Uh, we're about out of time for now though, so we'll leave it here and take care of that in the next episode. So thanks for watching and join me again then.